Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about how to pivot a table in MySQL. So I have a table here called CME underscore report, which have 986,454 reports. So we have quite many records. So let's see what's there in that table. So in the table we have a lot of columns, but what we actually are interested in just two columns, unique number and physician. Unique number is actually the primary key of the table. So each record will have a distinct unique number and physician column is actually representing the ID of the physician who completed that record. Uh, another important thing to notice here is we are storing uh, these two digits of uh, first two digits of the unique number as the year in which that record was completed. So for this record these first two digits 08 of unique number means this record was completed in 2008 by the physician whose ID is 113. And uh, if you see this record, it means again it was completed in 2008 by the physician 108. Don't look to this column's role and ICD and quality. Uh, this is not needed for the end result we are looking for. So the report that I had to generate was this. Mm, don't look to this big query, we will get to it step by step. So the report is this, we have a physician ID and three columns, each of which represents the year uh, and the total number of records that was completed in that year. So physician ID 374, he coded 3042 records in year 2007, 2610 in 2008 and 2340 in 2009. So we need a report like this from our table which have the data like this. Now if you see we don't store the year information separately. We don't have the year information as a separate column in the table. We have the information of year as first two digits of the unique number. So how to get to this report? Uh, we will actually do that in four steps so let's see the first one so in the first step what we are doing here is we are adding a year column depending on the first two digits of the unique number so we have a case statement here and we are doing a like uh, clause here if the first two digits of the unique number are uh, and remember that we are just interested in the 789 count we are not looking for anything that is after this like we are not looking for 2002 uh, records or 2004 or 2006 we are just looking for these three years 2007 8 and 9 that's why this case statement have just three likes uh, clauses uh, so if the unique number starts with 07 then add a column 2007 uh, then add 2007 to it and if it starts with 08 then add 2008 if it starts with 09 then add 2009 any other if it starts with 02 or 05 or 04 anything other than these three else add a null as a year so in the first step we have added a new column called year uh, which have the information of the year in which that record was completed So you see this is 07, now we have added the year information 2007. So this record was completed by Physician 108 in year 2007. Okay, so at least now we have the year information separately by this first step. So, but we need this thing. We need that year information as a column. So we can see for each physician uh, in just three columns how many records he completed each year and what we have got so far is this thing we just added a year column that's it so the next step what we are going to do here is we're gonna restrict our results to only these seven eight nine records so anything that have null which it actually means that record was not completed in seven or eight or nine it was completed in some other year so we're gonna remove those things and we're gonna get a total count for each physician for each year 
So what we are doing here is we just put that query as a subquery to our outer query. We are looking for only year 789. So if you see the year information is there, we are looking for just 789. All these nulls, we are not looking for that. So if it's there, we have the where close here. Then we are also grouping by the physician and the year. So we are grouping by the physician and the year. So these two will come as a one row with the count in this next uh, query. So we are selecting the physician and the year and the total, how many he coded in each year. So for physician ID 102, he coded 247 in year 2007, 362 in year 2008, and 266 in year 2009. But the year information is still is in that row. We want it as a separate column. So if you again see the end result we need, we need three columns for each year so that we can get all the information for each physician by seeing just one row. And what we have got so far is we have to look three rows to get the completion count for each year. So, uh, so 2007 physician 102 completed 247, 247 and in 2008 he completed 362 like that. So next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna convert this uh, information in each row into a separate column. So we're gonna add three columns for each year, seven, eight, nine. Not for each year, for individual year. So again, we're gonna use this query as a subquery and we added three columns, seven, eight, nine. So from this, if the year is 2007, add the column this, uh, seven, and if it's 2008, add the column this, and add that count also. So if you look this query carefully, we again uh, using a case statement to the result of this subquery. If it's 2007, then add the total and name that column as seven. So for each row, now this is very important, for each row we are adding three columns, seven, eight, nine. So if you see 102, he coded uh, 247 records in 2007. So this information will come as this row. So in seven, he coded 247, eight and nine will be null. So these two will be null depending on this row. Now for the next one, uh, in 2008 he coded 362. So this query will give us uh, this row. So 7 and 9 will be null. And similarly in 2009 he coded 266. So we get 9 count as 266. So we got information for each year as a separate column. If you see uh, the previous uh, her queries result, we have that information in three different rows. Now here what we have, we have that, we still have three distinct rows, but we have three columns to look for. So what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna group it and sum that result so this is the final uh, query again we are using the previous query as the subquery for this query and we are summing it so let's see the result of the previous query so physician 438 he coded 2019 records in year 7 and he coded 2139 in year 2008 and he actually didn't code it any record in 9. Now what we need is we need this result. For each year we just need a total. From this uh, queries result we can generate that on top of that. So we are using it as a subquery and we are summing it and 
first of all we are grouping it by the physician id so these uh, three okay, let's see this one i just reordered it so for this physician with id 1002 we are grouping it first so here is our group by so we are grouping it first so the query uh, will run on that and then we are summing it so this column will be summed and we will get 247 this column will be summed we will get 362 this column will be summed we will get 366 so this is the output we actually needed so if you run that query you will get this the end result what we needed for each physician we can see how much he coded in each year so this query can give us that result so all we are doing is we are using the result of the previous query and adding new column for each year and then aggregating the sum to get the final result so we just sum it and uh, the result we got it as 2007 the column name we named it as 2007 8 and 9 uh, another thing to uh, note here is we are not just using the sum we are also using that coalesce function so what coalesce will do if the sum is null so if the suppose it might happen that some of the physician might not have coded in year 2009 or 2008 so that will be null so if it's null, just give us the zero. So if I remove this coalesce function from here, you will see for some records, we will get the null as the result. So if you see for this physician 10045, he did not put in any record in year 2009, so we get null. But we don't want null, we want a zero if we haven't coded. So that's why we are using the coalesce function. So I will put the coalesce again and run it again you will see it becomes zero so that's how we can convert uh, the information into columns so pivoting actually means converting the information that is in the row as a separate column for that row so if you see uh, this query the second query that we used we have the information how many he coded each physician in each year but we have in in a separate row so if you see the last uh, queries result we have that information as a separate column so now we can just see uh, one row and we get all that information here we have to see three rows to get that information so that's what pivoting means if you have the information in separate rows you can convert by pivoting into columns that information so we here we have converted that information into separate columns in just one single row hope you find it beneficial mm, and that's how you do pivoting if you just play around it you will get to know how to do pivoting